Harvey is my best friend. Uh, I'm not usually given to using the word best for almost anything. If you ask me who my favorite baseball team is, I can tell you it's the Mets. But if you ask me who the best team is, I can't tell you that. You cannot make a 35-year-old friendship in less than 35 years. There's no way to do that faster. Uh, when we first moved into the community, it was filled with young people pioneers because brownstone renovation was really in the late 60s just getting momentum and we were all involved in the same kinds of things we were all looking for contractors or doing the work ourselves and sharing in those experiences we had one of the first working bathrooms on Bergen Street on our block and several friends used to come over and knock on the door with a towel and a cake of soap in their hands at the end of the day because they didn't have a working shower yet. It wasn't just a, you know, a cup of sugar from your neighbor. You might need a screwdriver, you might need a piece of 2 by 4 a piece of sheetrock, some extra paint, some sandpaper. And in fact, your whole kitchen might be kaplunk. And everybody understood that. And so people would, oh, your refrigerator's not working. Why don't you put your stuff in my refrigerator? You can come over and get it with you. Here's a key. You just have to come over and get it whenever you want it. And it was a very warm and very supportive community. I moved to Manhattan and Greenwich Village for a year and a half after being there. That's when I met Gay. We discovered Soho in 1979. We got a place with almost 2,400 square feet, 12-foot ceilings, windows everywhere for $87,000 or $85,000. Harvey asked me to design almost every place he ever lived in. When our daughter was born, the place was absolutely at its worst in terms of renovation. Almost nothing that was functioning it was okay for adults who were able to make do, but now a newborn baby would not work. So Len did what any best friend and good architect and designer who wanted to keep the job rolling would do. Was he invited us to stay at his apartment in Brooklyn. And by this time, Len was now on his own. He was separated and single. And he had a small two-bedroom apartment in Brooklyn Heights that had a small second bedroom, typically used by his daughter. But we somehow got some special dispensation. And so Gay and I and newborn Aria lived there, but it was really small. In fact, there wasn't even room for a crib. So our daughter slept in a drawer in Len's dresser. <laughs> and that's where she spent the first few weeks of her life. I designed into the loft, which was on two levels. The kitchen was at a raised level. A set of uh, wide stairs, carpeted stairs, which were wide enough to sit comfortably on. So in effect, we were trying to recreate the feeling of a stoop uh, from a brownstone, and we were trying to recreate it within the loft in Soho. An element of brownstone living is the front stoop of a brownstone where people on nice days tend to hang out. It's a very neighborly thing to do and it's part of Brooklyn brownstone tradition. When Harvey and Gay would entertain, people loved to just hang out on the steps. Len has known for many years that he was born with only one functional kidney. He also learned that he had a kidney disease that was slowly diminishing the function of the one kidney he had and that one day he would either need a kidney transplant or he would have to be on kidney dialysis. Many years ago my dear friend Harvey volunteered to donate a kidney to me. So Harvey and I go to New York University Hospital to meet with a nephrologist and he asked us certain background questions. Well, for every question Harvey had uh, a rather unsettling response. And at one point, the doctor looked at Harvey and he said, you know, I think Len is in better shape than you are. <laughs> Harvey and I went to lunch and we had the biggest laugh you could possibly imagine. It was both sadness, joy that he had volunteered, was loving enough to volunteer. You've led me down this path. Mm. Mm. I don't know where the return, the return for this is. <laughs>
It's hell and damnation for us both. <laughs> <laughs> I get the camera again. We've been laughing about that for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs>